Once you have Fusion installed, you'll have to create a virtual machine and install the operating system. So start VMware Fusion. In my case it already shows Windows 8.1 because I've already installed one, but in your case it might just be blank and you'll have to start a new one from scratch. Let me show you how this works now by installing Windows 10. So click on File, New, and it will ask you how you would like to install this, from either a DVD, install a file from an existing PC and so on. I will install this from an image. So I'll click on continue. I'm not going to choose the super drive, but I'll basically use the installer file, the ISO file that I downloaded from DreamSpark. If you don't have the Windows operating system, check the DreamSpark tutorial to see how you can obtain this. You select the image file you'd like to install from and click open, and then continue. You can enter the Windows product key at a later time. Click continue. Click finish to set up your virtual machine. Save the configuration under the virtual machine folder and hit save. This will start the installation process. As you can see now, I could have multiple of these operating systems running at the same time. I will close Windows 8 now, as I don't need it right now. Now you have to go through the regular Windows setup. Hit install now, and you'll be prompted by Windows for various configuration menus in between. This will take some time. Once you've entered your product key, you can click next. Read and agree to the license agreement and click next. Click on custom installation and next. Make sure that you have enough disk space available on your hard drive. Now you're going to copy and install the files, which will take some time. With Windows 10 in particular, it's a good idea to customize these settings to adjust the privacy settings to your liking. As by default, a lot of things are turned on to share. That might not always be in your interest. Click on Join a Domain and then Next to set up a local account. It will take a few more moments to set up your apps and get ready. Once you have installed Windows, it's a good idea to reconfigure the virtual machine and make sure to give it the appropriate hardware the virtual hardware that you wanted to assign. Click on Virtual Machine, Settings, and adjust processor and memory depending on your resources and how you'd like to set it up. Once you've adjusted these settings, you can just close the window and restart the virtual machine. Once you have Windows up and running, you need to install the VMware tools. Under Virtual Machine, click on Install VMware Tools. Once you've done that, the installation process will start. You can also right click on the start icon, open the file explorer and then select the DVD drive for the VMware tools. Follow the installation process to install the VMware tools in the virtual machine. You can click on a typical installation here and continue. Once you have installed the VMware tools, it is also a good idea to update Windows. For that, click on the start button, click on settings, and then on Update and Security. This will enable you to download the latest bug fixes. Once you have updated Windows, it's a good idea to install an antivirus program. You can see how easy it is to work with a virtual Windows on your Mac, because now you'll be able to simply drag and drop files from one system to the other, and it will copy them over. You can obtain the antivirus software through SFSU for free if you have any questions regarding this process or need any help with it, you can visit the student help desk in the administration building in room 110. The next software you might want to install is Microsoft Office 365 Education. As an SF State student, you might be able to obtain Office 365 Education for free and be able to download Microsoft Office PC versions for local installation please visit this link and sign up with your SF State email account. You can watch the Installing Office 365 tutorial for further details. Thank you.